Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And today, um, I'm still on the card making thing, but I happened to come across this little book called The Little Big Book for Moms. And I just want you all to see the pictures in it. And it's kind of, uh, it says here, filled with fairy tales, nursery rhymes, songs, finger games, activities, and, and such. So... It had these really cute pictures in it that I thought the book was even older than it was, but it says published in 2002, and I was kind of taken back because I thought, uh, I even thought it was further, I thought it was going to say back in the 70s, 80s, of that sort, and I've had it for a while, it's just, um, I, I haven't uh, done anything with it. And i um, showing you all some pictures here. Like there's Hey Diddle Diddle. But I, I, I've already taken out most of the pictures, but I think I'm going to have to go back and take out a few more. I really love the colors in this book. And I think why it sat over there for so long that, um, see, like here's Old MacDonald. I think here's a poem. Okay. So, and it has quite a few pages in it, um, upwards of 350. Okay, so then I pulled out my papers again from the, um, you know, my 12 by 12 papers, and... Uh, I've had these, I don't know, maybe a month, maybe two months, but uh, some of these are from the Storyteller, which uh, a lot of these have, um, you know, some of them with a uh, raised pattern that you can feel, and, um, and some of them don't. And then the other half are from this Wildflower co Collection. But anyway, I was putting together some more cards, and so I really like this pattern here because I thought that those pictures would really pop against this yellow, and then I did some with the green, but on the flip side were, was the pink. So I had made these and, you know, glued both sides together. And here was one of the little images. And so then what I did, I went ahead and glued them up. And... After I put my little images on, I went around them with the uh, Posca marker. And I had um, went to, I went to Michael's yesterday looking for numbers because, you know, Hobby Lobby's closed on Sunday. So uh, then uh, it was uh, sort of funny. This lady in front of me happened to be, uh, had a bag from Dollar Tree with some numbers in it, and she was trolling the bag around, and I'm like, whoa, wait a minute, that looks like, kind of like the numbers I want, and I've never seen them at Dollar Tree before, so thank God she was in front of me, so I've never seen these before at Dollar Tree, but I thought, I really love how they look. Because I, I was kind of wondering in my head what, okay, if I'm looking for something, I wanted something different. I, did, I didn't I did want just a plain 
ordinary looking two or a three, you know, and I had plenty of those. I had a uh, the black stencil that I bought lately, and I thought, no, that's just not the vibe I was going for. So, um, so I thought I'd give these a try, and and lo and behold, it's the ones I really, really love. So I've done these thus far. And I try to pick out the best color, I mean, for each. And, you know, they all have the pink until uh, I started getting into, um, you know, I'd cutting out some bigger uh, pictures. And at first, I was going to uh, put them in my uh, Bibliophilia uh, book. That was my thought to do with these pictures to start with. And I had them all laid out, ready to go in that book because of the Dina Wakely 6x6 six six book. It reminded me to pick that book back up. And I'll show you the rest of these. Um, I'm trying to think somewhere to put all my mess. Okay, so this is from the other collection. The um, now I'm trying to think what I just did with from the um, wildflower collection. And thus far, you know, this one here is bigger. I had all, all cut these out uh, six by four. And so when I had, um, you know, the little bit wider pictures, I just like, like custom did a card just for that picture. And you know, she had a jump rope, and I didn't even try to cut the jump rope. I'm just going to draw it back in. And this is the one that had the raised little thing. They feel like jelly. But as I was, uh, you know, going around them with the Posca pen and everything, you know, it needs a little something more. And the something more is what um, I'm trying to do with you all today. That one has a real skinny three on it. I thought for the skinny bird, I'd put the skinny three. That one has that background. And this little boy in the sailboat. I kind of like it that, you know, when I seen the water, it reminded me of this picture. You know, to put like water behind them without being water. So, and I still have these right here that I had taken out. And I thought about this saying... But I just love the pictures. It's like they're old-timey pictures. Wait a minute, it's another half to this picture. It's like maybe cut all of this pink out and then... Um, cut this and maybe overlay this sort of over here somehow. Okay, so 
So then I proceeded to pull out some things, and I was going through the Tim Holtz. Uh, I really don't know which one I want to start with, but I had pulled, you know, it's like I want something... I don't know. I don't know what I want, but I pulled out some of these Tim Holtz uh, things. Here's one with some letters. I thought maybe on the little girl one, maybe uh, with the little letters. Then I have this one here, which I don't know if that'll work. It's it's. Uh, I have this one with Tim Holtz. I kind of like uh, these. And here was uh, some more numbers. Then I had this one right here, which is, is a paper one, paper stencil, but I may use it just for this pattern here. And then I even thought about going down, uh, I mean, this is what I came to first in my head when I was thinking about a pattern, was these going down the edges. And then uh, I pulled out some of my stamps and thought about this one. Do I stamp some of this on there? And I had this one that has this little stamp which I don't know maybe that might be cute on the side of that car we may try that and this is from the anatomy of a page and then I thought about trying these and this is called bordering on the edge and I thought about maybe doing um, this little pattern here but since I already have kind of a pattern going on, I don't know if that one would get lost. or It's kind of like I got a one-time shot. I even kind of like this uh, squiggly looking one. But I don't know. We'll just try something. And I can't think which one. And then I had even pulled out, you know, I had this whole stack of uh, stuff over here. And I thought about doing these um, little shapes. Now I think about it, I'm thinking about this one right here. But I wonder if that would get lost. And then I have this one with the curly in it and I even thought about this one even though it's faint it's supposed to be the tail for a balloon and here's the one that the curly one goes on is this one right here And I have some numbers, the stars. Oh, and here's this one. This one goes right here. It's the little flower. And you know that might, let's see, how would that be? That might be good to go right there. It'll kind of look like she's picking flowers. I think we'll try that one. I've got too many choices going on, but we'll try this one and see how that works.
kind of like that. I guess I really need that thing that, you know, looks like a book cover that will come over and stamp, you know, in case you didn't stamp it good enough the first time, it would stamp it again. But I, I just don't have that um, tool, whatever it's called, but I, I've seen it many a times. But it's like, I still want something else. I don't know what to... Now it's like if I put one main thing like this, I want the others to be uh, kind of not so standout-ish. Um, I had these little X's and I had this line and then I had these O's, but... Um, let me see. The stars... I'm still trying to think what I want to do, guys. Let's see. Okay, if I did this little pattern, it's like I don't want it running off the page. And... Um... I don't know, I guess like that... I don't want but half, so let's see. Since I'm not stamping but half, we'll just I'll just cut it off right there so I'll know where not to wait a minute. I'm gonna have to wet that plate with a baby wipe because it's like it don't want to stick. And I can't have it falling off on my Can't have it falling off onto the thing. You'll mess it up all together. Right now, I don't even see my big journaling block. I had moved everything around to do the video. Now, I don't even know where my block went. Okay, so we're going to try this. So, I'm going to come up and see. Good thing I tried that, but... Hey, I see you, Augie Doggy. Okay, that's better. I think it's still going to come off. See, I done messed up because my, my finger caught it. You see if I can't go ahead and fix that part. Well, it don't look too bad. It looked worse before, so... Uh, I think had it been higher up, But I think I'm going to leave this card alone and we're going to move on to the next one. And let's see. On one of them, I was wanting to try one of these stencils going up the side, but I didn't want to... Um, I think I wanted to cut it off at some point. So, I don't think I want it going over top of his feathers, so I'm going to cut off, put a piece of washi tape, over top of that. see how that works and um, have to
to get me some more black paint here. And I finally did get that uh, replacement paint from Michaels, but lo and behold, it's the same. It's the same thing. The paint was still bad. So, at this point, I really didn't know what to do. I just thought, do I give up or what? Or See how this looks. Let's see, I wonder if I turn it around because I can't tell how straight it is because I don't have nothing to judge it by. Okay, let's see how this looks. I like that pretty good like that pretty good better so than that other one I put on up there on that one I wonder how that would cover that up because at best uh, let's see what would that cover up We're going to go for it, guys. No, that didn't turn out. But maybe I can go over it with something to maybe... I don't know. It kind of looks like maybe more... Just more... Uh, more lines in the decoration or see let me grab another one like i said i got too, way too much on my desk That looks pretty good. Maybe I should do that on all of them so it will kind of look cohesive and then maybe go back with, with something else. Let's see, just for good measure, let me put something over top of that one. I, got, I don't know if I have enough paint left in my brush. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay, guys, so I'm going to keep experimenting and go through them, and maybe on my next video I'll show you the rest of them, what I came up with, but... Hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and if you could, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel, and as always, see you tomorrow.